What's good YouTube? It's your boy Chronic bringing you guys a tutorial today on how to live stream using XSplit video broadcaster. So yeah, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is open up your web browser. For me, it's Chrome. I don't know. I like Chrome better than all of them. They're, it's like smaller, like uses less of your computer's power like for this. And by power, I don't mean that. I mean like RAM and stuff. So basically, you want to go to Google. At least that's what I do. And then I type in X Split Broadcaster. And then what you want to do is go here. And then if you're already not signed up with X Split, I recommend you sign up because that's what you need to be able to use the program. And I recommend using a real email address because if you use a fake one, then uh, they send you a confirmation email so you're gonna need to be able to go back into your email and confirm your account so after you're done registering I recommend going here and then you click here and it will download so after you're done downloading <clears throat> you open up the program and after you log in etc it looks like this and at first you're like oh my god now what and then what you want to do is go to broadcast edit channels and then you go to add for you guys and then you go to justin.tv so this is where you fill in your information for your live stream like username password in the channel and then this is where you could edit the settings like the bitrate the stereo etc all that other stuff and this is where you fill it out basically so I'm gonna show you guys my settings in case you guys wanna see them for any reason like that so those are the settings that I use and if you guys wanna go check out my quality I'll leave a link to my t well basically it's twitch TV for gaming but I'll leave a, a link to my live stream channel yeah, so you guys can see if you guys want to copy down my settings there they are you could pause the video to get them but I'm trying to get this wrapped up a little bit quick so I'm gonna continue going on alright so after you're done you want to click apply which I should have not done but okay and then but you want to click apply and then okay so then next thing you want to do is open up your PVR or your if you're using PC Total Media Extreme, but I don't know if you're using Mac because I'm only using PC. So when you open it up, Total Media Extreme, it should look like this, or you maybe have the blue one, but I have the black one. But so what you guys want to do is gonna make it small like this, and then you guys are gonna want to press ALT and space together, because as you guys can see now, you guys could adjust the space like like the height and how big it is well like how big and how to the side it is because you don't want the total media extreme thing to be taking up the whole thing of your computer because you want to be able to interact with people and like be on your youtube etc like be on the chat so you could chat with the people that are watching the live stream so after you're done with this let me just move mine a little bit more to the side because for me I always like to stop moving it to here should have made it a little bit taller hold on guys just a little bit right there and also guys here's a little tip if you guys want to move out the corners you just put it down until you can't see the black corners no more and same with the side so there you have it um, I need a more lighter thing, so I'm gonna uh, hop on Black Ops, start it, so I can see the lines. But what you want to do is you're gonna open back up this, and I change the scale point to like about 20, cause I always keep this open above the live stream, cause they're not gonna be able to see the this right here. They're only gonna be able to see basically this right here. All right. Let me skip this. Yeah, this is good enough. All right, guys. So the next thing you want to do is set up your your uh, your screen region where what you want 
the program to re live stream basically like what portion of the thing you want it to live stream so what you want to do is click add screen region you want to click the corner right where the picture starts and then drag it I did it a little off but you guys could do it better and then what you want to do is fill up the whole box with picture and then you can see right there you have your was going to be live streamed to justin.tv so what you want to do with this little picture is stretch it out to the whole screen so now you have it throughout the whole screen so there you have it throughout the whole screen now so also if you want to edit channels and like go to general if you have a microphone so you could communicate with people you select it here this is where you pick it I already have mine picked so I'm not gonna apply yeah okay but after you have that picked you're basically ready to go you could announce to like Facebook and stuff through this and it's pretty much me oh I almost forgot I record at 640 by 360 but I could my computer could handle the 1280 by 720 but I just don't choose to give it less like thing and then I also record on 30 I don't know why it's on 29 right now but you could use 30 and if your computer cannot handle the 30 then you could switch it down to 25 it still looks exactly the same guys it looks good good quality so yeah so and also if you guys want to make this smaller you just click here I like to keep it on top so I always either put it on 10 or 20 percent and then I just drag it up here and then the same you want to do with your browser you want to minimize it and then stretch it to so it's not in the picture because if it's in the picture then that's what what it's going to get live streamed to people they're going to see your browser so once you have this set up this is basically what it looks like when I'm live streaming so yeah guys this is pretty much it this is my little tutorial on how to live stream using XSplit broadcaster if you have any questions any questions at all or things that I didn't cover that you want to know please leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible but this has been your boy chronic I'm out deuces